Hey everyone, Steve here from PC Budget Solutions and it's the 19th. I'm actually uploading this today as well. I have to shift around a lot of things in the release schedule. You actually might get two videos. I haven't decided yet. If you do, then there'll be a video that comes after this. So, NVIDIA announced at CES or slightly before that, I can't remember, that NVIDIA graphics cards are going to support the Adaptive Sync technology. Now, there's a disclaimer there. They claim FreeSync doesn't work that well. And there's only 12 monitors that are FreeSync or have the Adaptive Sync technology built in that will support, or they'll certify rather, um, those monitors. It'll work to some degree on all FreeSync monitors, but NVIDIA is saying that the technology just isn't as good as theirs. I probably agree with that to a degree. I've had a occasional weird black screen or flicker for like a partial second uh, with uh, my particular systems over time but they've pretty much kind of gone away I think it's driver optimization so we're going to take my wife's 34 inch Acer monitor it's an ultra wide it's curved it's 3440 by 1440 it is I believe it's IPS I believe it's 100 Hertz but I do know it's FreeSync capable and today we're going to show you how to take a compatible 10 series card, and I believe this works on the 20 series card as well, and enable, we're going to call this Adaptive Sync Technology, so you don't have to shell out a ton of money for G-Sync if the Adaptive Sync Technology on cheaper monitors will work. This one's quite easy. Go to your favorite browser. Go to GForce.com. Go to Drivers. Select whatever series you have, but for this to work, it needs to be either GeForce 10 series or RTX 20 series. Select your appropriate card, hit search. You are looking for driver 417.71 or newer. Click here, click on download. It should put it in your downloads folder. We'll exit out of there. We're gonna open up our downloads folder. Double click, it'll first extract it and that'll do an uninstall of the old driver, reinstall the new driver. Once that's done, reboot your system. When you're done rebooting, you will go to display settings. I lied. You will go to Nvidia control panel. And we're looking for this right here, setup G-Sync. So when you click this, this will pop up. We'll want to enable G-Sync, common G-Sync compatible, enable for full screen mode, and that enable settings for selected display. When you click apply, it will turn the screen black, just as you see here. And that's it. The only other thing you'll have to do is we're going to actually open up a game here and some games do support Adaptive Sync and G-Sync. Uh, games like GTA 5, for example, does not. You have to enable V-Sync for that. But I do want to show you um, how to do it. All we're looking for in a game like For Honor is something that says Adaptive Sync. So you go to F2 Options Display and it's usually under right here for like V-Sync. You'll see Adaptive Sync. Uh, and this will dynamically enables and disables VSync to avoid uh, low frame rates and, pr and minimize stuttering and also will help with eliminating uh, screen tearing as well. So that's it. That's pretty much all you have to do in a lot of these games is look for anything that's adaptive. Usually it's adaptive. Sometimes it says free sync. Sometimes it says G-Sync. Um, sometimes you may just have to enable VSync and uh, it varies but it does give a much better experience. So hopefully you guys felt this is a pretty easy explanation. Uh, sorry for going through it so quickly, but I had found that it was actually quite easy. Uh, some monitors you might actually need to enable FreeSync within the monitor menu. This particular monitor did not have that option, so just make sure you double check that. It is very simple to do. Now, in this particular scenario, I was running ultra wide, so the ends were cut off. I uh, just want to let you guys know if the if the picture looked a little bit weird, that is exactly why. So hopefully it's a pretty informational video. If you liked it, hit that like button. If you didn't, hit the dislike button. I would be a little bit surprised if you did, but if you did, you did. Uh, get subscribed. Um, there's really nothing. Here, I'll put this monitor. You can buy this monitor in the link in the description or something similar. So um, as always, guys, this is Steve from PC Budget Solutions, and I'll see you all later on down the road.